What is needed for an online business? It can feel overwhelming, perhaps. Perhaps you're feeling, well, maybe your head's spinning at all the different options and possibilities. So the purpose of this video is to save you some time, clear the clutter, and really boil down what's needed for an online business. What's going on, my friend? I'm Jeff from 10tononline.com. If you want to escape the grind build of fulfilling online business and launch a better tomorrow, then you're definitely in the right spot. So let's talk about what's needed for an online business. Now, to help you along, to help clear the clutter and simplify things for you, I've put together a free online business jumpstart guide for you. This is an easy to follow PDF guide that really gives you a solid blueprint for you to follow with your online business. It literally gives you a step-by-step -step checklist to go from where you are right now to building your profitable and fulfilling business online. This is the same model that I use and that my students use to really, like I say, give you a solid blueprint for generating your first profits online. Go ahead and grab it right now over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. And stick around to the end of this video and I'll show you where you can go and what you can do to gain access to some even deeper training that takes everything that we're going to be talking about here much, much further. The next logical, progressive steps for you to take. Now, this is completely free training. However, it's really intended for folks who are serious about this stuff. So stick around to the end and I'll show you how you can gain free access. In the meantime, though, let's jump into what is needed for an online business. Now, what I wanna cover here with you, and it's up to you, you can jot notes as we go or not, it's totally up to you, but what we're gonna cover here are the absolute crucial components that you're gonna need when you're, or as you're building your online business. If you miss any of them, you will definitely struggle and missing any of these is one of the biggest reasons why so many businesses struggle. The reason why so many businesses struggle is because they're, I can practically guarantee that they're missing at least one of these components. The first thing is a product or a service or something to sell. Now, there are a couple of different schools of thought here. Many people think that before they offer some kind of a paid product or service, that they should build an audience first. They should put all their effort, all their attention on building an audience first and then worry about monetizing. Now, this is certainly one, like I say, school of thought or one approach. However, there are several problems with this approach. I think maybe the biggest one or one of the biggest ones is that many audience members get turned off when you try to, or when you switch over to monetizing. So you've spent maybe a year, maybe a year and a half, something like this, building this audience up, building trust, building a relationship with them, giving them all kinds of free stuff. And then you switch over and offer a paid product or a paid service, maybe a membership, something like this. And it turns off a whole swath, swath, swath of your audience. Here's another big issue with waiting to monetize. How long do you wait? to monetize. Again, there's different schools of thought. You should wait at least a year. You should wait at least two years. You're gonna wait two years to monetize? It's a long time to wait. But here's maybe a, the biggest reason or the biggest flaw with waiting to monetize. And that is, you're not taken seriously. You're not seen as a business. Instead, you're seen as someone who has a blog or someone who has a website or a social media account who just gives stuff away for free. You're not taken seriously as a business. So my friend, here's my suggestion. My suggestion is to start with some kind of a small, low cost product that's, and this is key, this is important, that's easy and fast for you to produce. Maybe something like an ebook or maybe offering one-on-one -on -one consulting. That would be perfect because it takes such little effort to offer one-on-one -on -one consulting or an ebook, something that you could put together in like a month. The last thing that you wanna do is this. The last thing that you wanna do is make the very, very common mistake of spending the next three months, the next six months, the next 12 months crafting the absolute perfect product. This is a very common trap, a very common mistake that those who are new to business make. The false belief is that if they can make the perfect product, then they're gonna be successful. Well, let me ask you this, and this isn't my example, I picked this up in a book somewhere. Can you make a better hamburger than McDonald's? Could you cook a better hamburger than McDonald's? I think most of us could. 
So it isn't about offering the best product or the perfect product. The point here is to create something fast and quick. The point here that I'm getting at is you want to have something for sale right away so that your audience who is beginning to get attracted to whatever it is that you're doing, they recognize you right away as a business. That's the point. That's the, that's why I say consulting is such a great uh, service to offer or a quick and easy ebook, or maybe a short and sweet online course, something like this. The point is to get recognized as a business, not to create a perfect product. What I love too, I just want to digress for a second. What I love too about the consulting route is it signifies that you're a business, but there's no upfront cost to you. You essentially create a page on your website that offers consulting. So you could go the consulting route. Ebook is great, a short online course. Don't offer something like t-shirts or swag. To me, that's a no-go. These are not real businesses. All right, so I digressed in a few points there, but the first component that you're gonna need is something to sell. And hopefully we've addressed, fully addressed this issue of monetization. So that's the first component. The second component is audience. Importantly, people need to know that you exist and you need to be able to get found online. Now, there are two primary ways to do this. The two ways to do this are something called outbound marketing and something called inbound marketing. Typically, running online ads, that would be outbound marketing, or inbound marketing would be content marketing. Let me kind of break this down here. So running ads like Facebook ads or, you know, ads on Google, you know, that kind of thing. Now, the problem with this approach, the problem with what's what falls under outbound marketing, online advertising, is it's expensive and it's getting more and more difficult and more and more expensive these days. And it's yielding poorer and poorer results. The problem with inbound marketing or content marketing is that well, it can be free, assuming that you're the one who's creating all the content. It can take a long, long time, at least a year, but maybe even a little bit longer. Maybe I should better explain what content marketing is just to make sure that you and I are on the same page. I'll keep it short and sweet. Content marketing is essentially creating, producing, publishing helpful content like articles, blog posts, tutorials, guides, videos, this sort of stuff that is useful, relevant, and helpful for the sorts of people who you wanna help and serve through your online business. But again, like I say, the downside to this approach, content marketing, is it's slow. It can take time to really start yielding results. So therefore, my friend, many business owners feel stuck. Running ads are too expensive, but content marketing takes too long. I know a lot of business owners are in this spot, they feel stuck. Now, my choice is content marketing for a number of reasons. Here's a big reason. You create a piece of content, again, maybe it's a tutorial or a guide or a video series or something like this. You create it once and it exists forever online to help people and to attract people into your business. It's kind of like it's a miniature ad. Another big reason why I like content marketing so much is it's more personal and it's more direct. To me, advertising is cold. Advertising often gets ignored. And as a matter of fact, advertising falls under what's referred to as interruption marketing. You're interrupting people. They're going about their regular daily life and your ad interrupts them. It gets in their way and they have to deal with it. They have to ignore it or get around it or whatever before continuing on with whatever it is they were doing. A third and final reason why I love content marketing so much is if we add on solid SEO, which is not difficult, complex, or technical, or hard for you to learn, you can easily do it for yourself. If you add in SEO to your blog posts, to your videos, to your articles, whatever it is that you're producing in your content marketing efforts, then you can get found online, once again, by the exact sorts of people who you want to help and serve through your online business. So audience is our second component. Here's our third component for you and for your online business. That is your email list. Yes, my friend, good old fashioned email. You must have an email list and 
Not only must you have an email list, you must email them on a regular basis. Now, why must you have an email list? Why is an email list so important? Because you and I and everyone else, we don't control social media platforms. We don't control algorithms. That's all owned and controlled by giant tech corporations, and we are at their complete mercy. But with email, you and I and other online business owners, well, we own the list. While people are completely free to subscribe or unsubscribe from our email list, that actual email list of followers is ours. It's our property. We can back it up. We can download it. You can stick it on a thumb drive and stick it in your pocket and take it with you. You can move your subscribers from one email marketing platform to another email marketing platform. Try doing that with social media. Now, the big question, of course, though, is how do you build your email list? How do you get people to subscribe? Well, you've probably seen this many, many times where you land on a website and it says, join our email list or sign up for our newsletter. That is completely lame. The last thing that people want is more email. So instead, my friend, what you've got to do is you've got to offer a helpful and valuable, what's referred to as a lead magnet. This could be a workbook or a tutorial or a series of videos or some kind of guide, something like this, a white paper maybe. Get creative with this stuff and then offer it on your website and in your different promotions to the people who are viewing your content in exchange for their email address. Next, and I alluded to this just a moment ago, email them regularly, <laughs> not once every six months. That is not good enough. At least once a week, you have to be emailing your list of subscribers on a regular basis, giving them new, fresh, helpful content. And don't send too many sales emails. That's the last thing that people want to get. Instead, like I say, send them valuable, useful, helpful emails that help them get the results that they want. Maybe you could create some content to help them get better results for whatever market you might be in. Maybe it's cooking or baking or weight loss or who the heck knows. And then every once in a while, send them a limited time offer or sales email or promotional email. All right, I hope you've been enjoying all this. We're really laying out the components here for you for your online business. I've got what I'm gonna call the icing on top, and that is automation or systems. The really, really great thing about online business, especially if you're selling digital products, maybe like an online course of some kind, or maybe eBooks, something like this, is you can automate a lot of your business. The purchase process that a customer would go through can be completely automated, which simultaneously takes care of your bookkeeping and accounting, which is awesome. Different transactions can be automated. The emails that you send out, the content that you publish on a regular basis, all this stuff can be scheduled ahead of time to essentially run itself. So automation systems, this is a huge part of my business at least. I try to automate and systematize, if you will, as much as possible. Building strong systems means that you're not constantly taking care of your business, working in your business. Instead, you can be working on your business. All right, are you ready for what's next? If you're ready for the next big steps, then here's what to do. Head over to 10tononline.com forward slash free and enroll in your free online business workshop. This is a completely self-paced online workshop where you and I are gonna shatter some big myths about how business works, what your competition really means for you and for your online business, what your customers really truly want, and why do what you love is a surefire way to fail. We're gonna sort all this out and you're gonna get three, three real world methods, if I can get that out, for validating your business ideas and I'll show you how you can avoid the number one mistake that most new business owners make. You don't want to miss it. There's lots of info ahead. Bring a notepad for sure. Bring a coffee or a tea, and I'll catch you over there in just a second.